Hello, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you index function, match function, and the combination of the index and match function, and how they can work as a VLOOKUP function. Instead of a VLOOKUP, you can use a combination of index and match to achieve the same result as the VLOOKUP. Let's get started. In the meantime, if you're not subscribed, they subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. So I'm going to first explain the match function, then explain the index function, and lastly combine the index and match function, and also show you or revise up. I'll do some revision on the VLOOKUP to show you that they both can give us the same exact result. Let's get started. Now, to the match function returns a position of a value you are looking up for in a given list. It does not return the value, but it returns the position of the value. The two are different. For example, A4. What is the position of A4 in this list? It will count one, two, three, four. So to return four. If I change this to a six, it will look for the position of a six and it will count one, two, three, four, five, six. It does not return a value, but it returns a position of the value you have given it. Let's see, you're going to say match function. We are looking up for S6. Where are we looking it up? In this column here. And we want an exact match. Put zero, like so. So it is telling us the position of S6 in the list I provided is six. And when you count, it's actually at position six. Simple and clear, that's what the match function does. It does not only look at columns, but it can also look, it does not look at only rows, but can also search columns. What do I mean? Assuming I have this row here, I'm searching across a column and I want to find the position of 1,200 in this list here. I can do the same, same match. I'm looking out for 1,200 in this list here and give me the position if you see it as an exact match. Four. So it is telling me it is in the fourth position. One, two, three, four. Great. So the match function just returns the position of the value you have given it. Got it in your head? Correct. Let's move to index function. Now the index function for it, it returns the value. The match function returns the position. The index function returns the value when we give the position of the row or the column. Got it? So let's try it out. Assuming I have a two here. No, for it, it does not need this. It just needs index. I give it an array. This is my array as my first argument. The next one, it is saying, give me a row. I give it two. Next is saying, give me a column. I give it two. And then you see. What is the answer? Answer is 403. So 
let's understand what it is doing. So it is saying, in this array you have given me, go to row two, one, two. Go to column two, one, two. Where do you end up? You end up with four, zero, three. So you just give it an array, give it the row position, give it the column position, it will give you the answer. That is the index function. Whereas the match function finds the position of the value you have given it. The index, it will give you the value after it has taken the row number or the index number or the column number. So let's see how we combine the two. Combining the two. Now, assuming I have this data here, I want to go into, dive into that data, go and pick out F4. When I get F4, I want the quantity to appear in this cell, I3. The price of F4 to appear in J4, in J3, and the, the amount, which is the result of the multiplication of the quantity and price to appear in K3. I want, you can achieve this using the VLOOKUP or the index and match function. If I complicate it, I want to start it in a simple way by saying index. The array where I'm going to pick my quantity. I'm going to give it all this information. Here. That is where my quantity for A4, you're going to find it. Now, what row is the quantity for A4? Quantity for A4 is in row one. One, two, three, four. Give it number four. What is the column? In this array, the column is column one. When you go column one, and then you go through four rows, one, two, three, four. And of the first column, and you go four rows, you get a five. So I expect my answer to be five. So I say index, give it a this. Row number four, one, two, three, four, go under four. Then column one is the first column. For this data set, it is the first column. What is the answer? Five. Got it? Yes, that is good. So F4 quantity, answer is five. How have we got it? We just went. Specify, use the index function, specify the range, we specified the row number and the column number, and we got it. Simple. Now, what we have done, we have hard coded, we have gone in and said row number four and column one. We don't want to do that. We want to make it dynamic such that. Excel does that work for us. So how do we achieve that? That's where the, the match function comes in. So for match, we shall say, let me do it on the side here. Match, I'm going to look out for this guy here. Let me lock it before. Lookup array. Where are you looking up F4? I'm looking it up in this. Remember F4? I'm looking for F4. F4 is not in this one, it's not in this one, it's not in this one, but it is in this one here. Okay? I'm looking it up there. 
do I want less than equal exact? I want equal exact match. So it is telling me a four is in row four, which can be confirmed. One, two, three, four. Good. What is the column number for this quantity? Match function again. Now the column number, I'm going to use the titles to locate the column numbers. Very important. Title is quantity. Lock it. Control F4. I'm use look up array. What list? Use that list. And I want exactly quantity, nothing else. Give it a zero, as you can see here. So and that is it. Actually, let me lock these ones. Control four. Control F4. Control F4. Control F4. F4. Wonderful. So I have the row number which I put in this formula, this four here, is the same four I have here. See this? This one here is the same one I have here. So we will use what is called substitution. Where there is a four, we are going to put this guy here, because this guy calculates for us the four automatically, instead of writing four, hard coding it, we put a formula which will automatically calculate it. So my row number is a four. I'm going to copy this formula and I'm going to put it here where there is a four. This is my row number. So I'm saying match, calculate for me the four. I, I drop it there, copy and paste. Answer is still correct. Then, one is my column number, which I entered with by clicking on the one. But I'm saying I don't want to click on the one. I want Excel, do the work for me, find the column number. So I come here. This is the formula. I've shown you how to get the column number. I'll pick that formula. And I put it. Here, where there is a one, I put my formula. So this formula is going to calculate for me a one. Enter. Answer is still five. Check whether it is still working. If I change this to six, I get quantity as two. Is it correct? Yes. If I change this to 10, quantity is nine. Is it correct? Yes. So by avoiding the hard coding and putting there a formula to calculate my row number, calculate my column number, I make it dynamic. So that whenever I change this, this one automatically changes. If I left there the four and one, it would mean if I put a 10 here, I'll need to come and count what row and also count what column. But by using the match function to calculate for me the column and the row, the formula becomes dynamic. Having achieved this, the rest is easy. Now, you observe that I can copy this and make a few changes for price and quantity. So I do copy. Put there. Hmm. Is it correct? It looks like it is correct. Copy, put here. Is it correct? Yes, it looks correct. So, A12, quantity is 9. A12, quantity is 9. 
price 617,617. Amount 6,039. 6,039. So this is correct. Let's test it. Change this guy to A1. There you go. For 300, 1,200. For 3,000. So by doing this, I can easily pick what I want from this data set. Filter up, specify what you want, index and match will give you the answer. Now, as a revision, we can remind ourselves the V function. V lookup, you can see whether we get the same result. Lookup value, we're looking up F4. In which array, we're going to take all of this. When we get four, we want to return quantity. Quantity is in what? column number what? Column one, two. By the way, you can also use the match function to get a column. But in this case, I'm going to add code. So it is in column two. Next, and I want an exact match, which is false or zero. There you go. So, because I'm going to use this again, let me fix this guy. And my ray, fix that guy. And do. So, you see, five, five. So I'm looking up F4, and I'm getting five. So I can just copy this here. And A, don't worry. Now, price is in column three. Remember, this was in column two. This is in column three, four. So I just come here, change this to three. What is happening here? And change this to, okay. Okay, there's a problem. It didn't fix this one here. Let's fix it also. Fix it. Let me see whether I want to speak again. Copy this. We get a five. Now, price is in column three. One, two, three. And this amount is in four. So I come here, change this to three. Get the price. Change this to four. Get the quantity. So, Index function gives us that. VLOOKUP gives us that. Both achieving the same, choose what you want. When I change, my index gives me this, my VLOOKUP gives me that. Change, there you go. So you can either use the VLOOKUP or the index, whichever is appropriate. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. That's all I have to for you today, and have a great day.